Hey everyone, so for today's video, I wanted to jump on here and give you yet another declutter. And in today's video, I'm going to be decluttering some of my powders. So I don't have a lot of powders, but I do have dry skin. So I wanted to give you guys kind of an idea of the powders I really like and tend to reach for. And I also wanted to get rid of the ones that I'm just not reaching for. I like powders that are very, very thin and sit very smoothly on the skin. I have dry skin like I've mentioned before. And if a powder is too heavy or too mattifying, I tend to not really prefer it. So if today's video does end up being helpful, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up. That way I know. Of course, I hope you'll subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. And with all of that, we will jump right in. So first up, we have the RCMA No Color Powder. I really, really love this one. I think it's one of the best affordable powders out there, period. But also for dry skin, this just works so effortlessly to set the skin without making it look dry. It's very thin in general. I think this is kind of a cult favorite for a reason. I really love it, will continue to love it. So I'm going to be keeping this. This is the Luminous Silk Compact. The powder is very thin and I think a lot of people enjoy it for that reason. I tend to like that as well. But on the skin, I don't think it's as high hydrating or at least not as smoothing as I would like. So in general, I feel like this was kind of a waste. I never reached for it. So I'm just gonna pass this one along. I need to get more use out of this. This is the Hourglass Ethereal Light. This is really, really pretty. I, I feel like I don't have quite the perfect Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder shade for me. If you're new with the ambient lighting powders, these are like perfectors. They're finishing powders that really make everything look smooth, um, but also have a luminescence to them. And this does a really great job. The shade isn't perfect for me, but I do think that in the right areas on my face, this ends up looking super pretty. So I'm going to keep this. So this might surprise some of you. First of all, I'm sorry that my compacts are gross, but it's really hard to keep these clean with this sort of packaging. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder, I like. It's not my favorite though. I do think that there are other ones better out there. Like for example, I think this one is much better than the Luminous Silk Compact, but I just don't find that this is anything to write home about. I prefer the RCMA powder. I, I like how thin this is. It's so smooth and buttery. But I just feel like whenever I put it under my eyes, it leaves a little bit to be desired, to be honest. So I think I'm gonna pass this along. It, it hurts because this is expensive, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. Also passing along this Aqua Assurance from JCAT, only because the shade is too dark for me. This powder is phenomenal. If they would only just expand the shade range because this looks stunning under my eyes. It really smooths out everything. And because it has a little bit of, just a tiny bit of pigment, it brightens too. So I love this, just it's not the right shade for me. And I think my sister would really like this. So I'm gonna pass this along. Also passing along this Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. There's nothing wrong with this. It's actually kind of broken. Um, nothing wrong with this. It's kind of like an HD powder equivalent. And I like the way it looks, but I never reach for it. So again, with the, these things, whether or not the product is good or not, I don't reach for it. So I'm going to pass that along, keeping my Maybelline Fit Me. I'm actually interested in the loose powder version. Let me know down below how you guys like that one, but I love this. You'll see I have a little bit of wet pan, but this is very thin. This is powder that barely goes on the skin and I like it that way. Um, it sets everything that it needs to set under my eyes or elsewhere. Affordable, but the formula is really spot on. So I'm going to keep that. Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. It's fine. I prefer the RCMA though, if I'm being honest, if I'm talking about loose setting powders. So I think there's someone else that would like this because this is such a cult favorite. I feel like a friend of mine would like this. So I'm going to pass that along. Keeping my Wouter because this looks amazing on my skin. It has like a slight tint to it, as you can see, but it's not something that's gonna give you a lot of coverage. It almost just kind of smooths everything out. Now that I'm kind of thinking about it, these are very, very similar, except one is um, one is pressed and one isn't. Um, so if that's helpful, I'm gonna keep the Wouter and pass along the J-Cat. And finally, 
probably the dirtiest powder I have yet, is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. This was an OG for me. I actually really love using this as kind of like a bronzer blush. Um, that's Radiant Light. I really like these powders. I, again, I feel like I don't have like the perfect shade for me. A lot of people use Dim Light, but Dim Light, I, I feel like it's a little bit too dark for me. Um, in general, beautiful, beautiful powders. Can't say enough good things about them. I actually feel like it might be useful for me to go into an hourglass store if I see one soon and ask them to kind of shade match me and let me know what one actually would work the best on me. So these are all my powders. The ones I'm decluttering over here, as you can tell, I don't use a lot of powder. And then these are the few that I'm keeping. So I feel good. Just again, getting rid of some of the old ones that I know other people will get more use out of. Not that any of these are bad products, but these I know I will actually get the full use out of. So I hope that today's video was helpful and definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up if it was. And of course, I hope you'll subscribe. Definitely check out some of my other declutters. I have an entire playlist that I'll leave linked down below. I hope I'll see you in my next one. And until then, I'll see you later.